This is Caracas, the capital of Venezuela. February 2009 marks 10 years since Hugo Chavez took office following a landslide election victory and launched his revolution to bring radical change to Venezuela. While widely popular with many in the country, Chavez's policies and his strongly worded criticisms of the US government have also made him powerful enemies both at home and abroad, especially in the media. Tú sigues la trayectoria de Benito Mussolini y la trayectoria de Chávez y es igualita. Por eso yo digo que Hugo va a terminar como Mussolini, colgado con la cabeza para abajo. Under George W. Bush, the US government even went as far as backing a short-lived coup against Chávez in April 2002. And to this day, the US continues to support attempts to undermine his government. Key to Chávez's survival has been the support of Venezuela's poor, many of whom live in the low-income neighborhoods, known as barrios, scattered all over the country. But Chávez's revolution has been unable to deal with some of Venezuela's long-standing problems, such as poor public services, corruption and crime, which has caused increasing frustration amongst his supporters and those sympathetic to his government. However, Chávez himself remains personally popular. Arriving in Caracas in November 2008, on the eve of crucial regional elections, we take a journey into the heart of Venezuela's revolution and listen to the voices of the people driving the process forward. Para quien... 